Hi everyone, welcome to this particular video that I will be presenting my comic that I was working in Mr. Self class and I will read most of the time the slides that will appear during the video. An adventure in the upside down. Surrounded by stars after an intense soccer match, I decided to stay in the playground to reflect about myself. I lost the notion of the time when I wake up, I guess it was between 12 or 1 am in the morning when I saw it. In the middle of the playground, there was a fissure that was reflecting a shiny light that was kind of attractive. But as in the story, there are bullies that appear. That's the message that think that the world surrounded around them. They came to me saying many things. And eventually they kicked my ass. I respond too, but they won't for sure. The things start to become weird than the usual. I was lying on the ground like a fly by the bullies, but something was coming out of the fissure. There was this weird creature with long claws and a terrible jaw. I was freezing, my ass was shaking, and to make it even worse, this creature had the power to move from one place to another, within some holes that this creature creates, and in one second split one of the bullies in half. That was terrifying, the blood splashing everywhere, and bullies running to save themselves, and there I was, in the middle of all this terrifying situation, freezing as a snowman in the winter. This creature turns to me, and I can't even move. I feel like that one was my end. Really? That's how my life was supposed to end? But something magical happened. And maybe not that magical, but unexpected. A soccer ball that appeared from nowhere hit the creature and thrown him away. And that's when the those shiny shoes that were eventually were owned by my favorite soccer player in the story appeared. There he was, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a secret player, but eventually it was his secret identity. He told me that he was part of his secret organization that keeps and protects the world from the upside down, the world parallel and dark to our world, and the creatures that live there, like the ones who attacked in us that was called the Demogorgon. He was telling me more interesting secrets, but it doesn't last because the Demogorgon set up and tried to attack us, but seriously, as he was a wizard, he used the Super Bowl as his personal weapon, like Thor using Mjolnir. That thing was awesome and creepy. In the middle of the battle, the Nomogorgon used his special ability to open a gap between our world and the Upside Down, and we eventually got sucked in it, like it was a black hole. When I wake up, there I was, in this world dark as a eclipse that didn't disappear. I spent like an hour walking with Circe to find a way out, but eventually the Demogorgon found us, and the second chapter of the battle began. The Demogorgon attacked to kill, and Circe was protecting me. That was scary, being protected by one of the room models without any way out. During a moment, the Demogorgon creates a fissure to move directly to us, but something that we noticed was that the, this portal connects to our world, but closes himself as soon as the Demogorgon goes through. That's when CR7, during a particular moment of the battle, finds ways to hold the Demogorgon and pushes me through one of the fissures that the Demogorgon creates to come back to our world. When I pass through the portal, I notice that CR7 doesn't follow me back. He sacrificed himself to give me a second chance to live, and I want to give him back a favor. I don't know if he's still alive, but I will find him and I will rescue him. After all, he saved my life. It's been two months since that event happened. I joined the secret society that Ronaldo was part of, and I think we find a way to go to the upside down. I'm trying to find the person who gave me a second chance. 
This is a diary that has the true story about why I am not home. I hope we can see ourselves again. Thank you.